President Trump is spending the weekend at his New Jersey golf course. This comes amid new revelations about the meeting between his son, Donald Trump Jr., and a group of Russians last year. But just who attended the meeting continues to change. CBS News correspondent Errol Barnett has the latest. After returning from Paris Friday, President Trump waved to LPGA guests at his Bedminster golf course in New Jersey. But as he spends another weekend away from Washington, his administration is reeling from continuing revelations as it relates to the Russia investigations. Reportedly, yet another Russian attended the now infamous get-together at Trump Tower with Donald Trump Jr. and senior campaign staff last year. The Associated Press says Arnot Akhmetshin, a Russian-American with suspected links to Russian intelligence, also attended the meeting with Natalia Veselnitskaya, a Russian lawyer. As far as this incident is concerned, this is all of it. This is everything. This is everything. Akhmetshin's presence contradicts statements from the president's son earlier this week that there were no additional attendees nor topics discussed other than adoption and potential dirt on Hillary Clinton. It also raises questions about how much then-candidate Trump knew. While visiting the French president in Paris this week, Mr. Trump defended the meeting. But Nothing happened from the meeting. Zero happened from the meeting. And honestly, I think the press made a very big deal over something that really a lot of people would do. CBS News has also learned that senior advisor and son-in-law Jared Kushner revised his security clearance paperwork twice, most recently to reflect the Trump Tower meeting. Kushner's attorney said he was not introduced to others while there and said the disclosure is not legally required. Russian campaign. specialist um, Jeffrey Mankov. Uh, being reached out to by representatives of the Russian government or intelligence services should certainly spark uh, red flags and, and prompt a call to, to the FBI. Errol Barnett, CBS News, Washington.